Hello, hello, hello. Out there in Chinchilla land. Let me get you up here right. My camera is slowly going down. I don't understand. Okay. Um, <laughs> so what we got here. Let me show you real quick what I got. A uh, nine and a half inch circle is going to be your of batting. And then I have a terry towel. Um, I'm not telling you guys to use terry towel or batting like I've got. You guys use what you need. You know your chinchillas and you, if you know they don't chew, um, then you're probably going to be fine with this batting. Mine don't chew, so I'm using batting in here to make it stiff. And I'm, I know I'll be safe, so... Um, but if you know your chinchillas to chew, then you might want to go a different route on the, as far as the batting, you may want to go with the NR form. Um, and then again, you may not want to go with this at all. If your chinchillas chew fleece at all, I don't recommend putting this fleece bed in your chinchillas anyway, so. But if something else you might want to try is this NR form. It's real stiff. It's real smooth, soft on this side, kind of rough on this side. Um, it's really, really stiff. A lot of people use it in pocketbooks and stuff. So, that's another alternative to batting. But I'm using batting. Um, just have to be careful when we sew this batting. Uh, it will help draw up your fleece some. So, you just have to be careful and keep your fleece, um, you know, pulled out and keep it from, um, from drawing your fleece up some. So, anyway, and I apologize. I'm a southern girl. So, just bear with me. All right, your nine inch circle or nine and a half inch circle is your batting, and I cut a an old terry talon. It is old, so it's dirt an old. It's clean, but it looks dirty. <laughs> so don't mind that. I'm sorry. Okay. So we got those out of the way. Our ten and a half circle is going to be of two solids. That's going to be your pee pad that goes inside your bed. Your eleven inch circle is going to be one cut a pattern and one solid your 30 oh your 29 and a half by four is going to be your batting piece here your 39 and a half by five is going to be one solid one pattern okay um i didn't show you guys me cutting these out because i wanted didn't want the video to be so long so but anyway it still may be a little long and i apologize because we're going to try to do it to where you guys know exactly what I'm doing, um, hopefully. So, that being said, you're gonna take your solid piece of fabric and you're gonna make sure you got your wrong side up. And you're gonna lay your batting on here, just like so, and get it centered. I must've kept my batting a little long. Or maybe that's okay now see there my stuff had already drew up so i'm just by laying that on it okay now I'm just going to get it centered on there and um you can pin it if you've got pins i've got pins somewhere i got a whole new pack of those things somewhere but who knows where they are okay so we're going to use these clips or these wonder clips you'll see me use these too um i love these little things so I'm just going to go in here and clip this on in sections, just like so. Okay. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take this to the sewing machine. And I'm not going to drag my camera to the sewing machine because it's over there. But uh, I'm just going to sew about a fourth inch seam all the way around this all the way around my batten all the way back and all the way around and that way it will add so my um batting to my fabric so i'm gonna go do that and i'll be right oh, let me show you another thing i'm gonna do real quick this way we'll kill two birds with one stone we are going to take the 11 inch circle and we're going to take our solid fabric Put your bad side up, or wrong side up, not your bad side. And put your batting on here, just like so. I'm going to get it where it looks like it's going to lay all the way centered, all the way around. 
okay and then you're gonna clip it or pin it in place I'm just gonna do it on each side here and I'm gonna do the same thing so my batting all the way around and I'll be right back alrighty now we're back and you're gonna look like this everything's sewn on and you're gonna have your batting sewed onto that one and you're gonna have your batting sewed onto this one I got a thread there I gotta get but everything is sewn together or your batting is sewn to your parts of your fleece all right now let's see we have to take this one and we're gonna fold it in half good sides together or right sides rather get them up there you can pin it or you can do that and what I'm gonna do is just go so straight down here about a half inch seam here so for well maybe a fourth inch fourth inch to a half inch seam here depending because I've got some salvage I left on on this one so I'm gonna have to hide that salvage so you may go about a half on that one once I get this sewn um, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna lay your bottom up here like this and I'm gonna choose where I've done my back stitches here to actually line up with this seam I'm gonna line it up here just like so so get it up here where you guys can see it I'm gonna put that seam just right there like that after after this is sewn and then I'm gonna pin all this together or clip it right sides together just like this see how your batting will be here and your batting's gonna be here and then you're gonna go around here just like so you take your edges and you're just gonna come all the way around and clip it clip it all the way around and then you're gonna sew it half inch all the way around and when you get done you're gonna have look like a cake like this with a date and just like that okay and if you don't follow me we're gonna do it again so you're gonna do this piece no no batting you're gonna take your right sides your pretty sides and I'm gonna call this one looks the same on both sides but I'm gonna call this my right sides and I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna sew half inch seam right down I'm gonna do half inch seams so half inch seams right here and then you're gonna take your right side which this will be my right side you choose where you want to start and stop it and you're gonna put your piece on just like so and you're gonna pin it all the way around right sides pin this is my right side right side to right side you're gonna get, lay it on there and you're gonna either clip it or pin it all the way around and then when you come back we're gonna have a cake but this one's gonna be flat because there's no batting to hold it up okay so when I come back I'm gonna have both of these sewn together just remember fold this in half face sides together right side here right side here so a half inch seam put it on my bottom just like I'm gonna do that one start your seam wherever you want this is my good side and my good sides in here and I'm gonna pin it or clip it all the way around and then I'm gonna sew it half inch all the way around okay and I'll be right back okay I'm back so this is what you got oh and I meant to tell you make sure your scoop is on the inside from the side you're sewing so you should end up with something like this <laughs> it's gonna look just like that have it sewn all the way around and then this piece is gonna look the same of course it doesn't have the batting 
got your scoop. See there? And it's sewn all the way around. And of course, make sure you get your threads. Don't leave your threads like I did. Okay. Now. Now, here's the fun part. But it's easy. <laughs> You're going to put your face right sides together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one here. And I'm going to put this one inside here. I'm going to actually turn it right side out. So all my sewing is on the inside. And then we're going to put our pieces together. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put these two corners together here. And I'm going to clip mine. Come right here, clip mine right down in here. Corners clipped here good. I see you've got to be careful because, like I said, this um, this stuff stretches. So I did my stretch, and that's another thing I meant to tell you. I did my stretch around instead of up and down this way. It doesn't stretch up and down; it stretches around. That way, you could work with your fleece a little bit and maneuver it the way you needed to. So I'm gonna get it all down in there really nice and flat. We'll help it to lay flat up here. Get your bottoms pushed together. And I apologize if I'm breathing heavy. I'm, I have asthma. So it, um, my lungs aren't the best in the world. So just bear with me. All right. As soon as I get my pieces to work with me here. Come on. Work, work, work. Work with me. Okay. Now. Come on around. And you want to put your uh, seams together back here. Now. You're going to look at this and say, well, that looks bigger. And it probably is. Like I said, this one draws up some so you'll just have to when you're sewing is i'm going to start pulling this one and letting this one lay um just so it'll help hold it together and i may end up pulling it around more here see it looks like it's pulled back some here so i'm going to take these off and just start working it from right here so you guys got to be careful not pull your fleece funny because it will throw it off some. See, there, it even work better that way by bringing it around from the seam around. And the same thing over here. Yep, that one worked good too. Okay, so that's what you got. Now, we're going to go do our half inch seam. I'm going to sew it all the way around here. And like I said, if you're, just be careful and watch your um, fleece. If it stretches any, you know, you can push a little here and pull a little there. And that way make it all even and come out pretty decent. My first one, I don't know if you noticed on the back, back there where I ended up sewing it. My inside fleece ended up trying to be a little longer and I had to compensate for it. So it made it look a little wonky in the back, but it works. Chinchillas don't care if it's a little wonky, so... Alrighty, now I'm going to go sew this all the way around. And we're going to, oh, we're going to leave about a, about a three to four inch opening. And I'm going to leave it on this side probably. Yeah, I may, well, I may do it on this side. This depends on which side I get to out back there. But um, you want to uh, leave a three to four inch opening. So you may want to start here. Come all the way around and stop here at your seam. And that way this will be open here. Because you need a, a place to turn it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to uh, put my fleece or my terry talon on my... This one doesn't really have a 
front or back side. So I'm gonna put that on that. Um, you could sew this around there and probably would be a good idea that way it won't bunch up on you or you can do an X on it. Um, but I'm gonna sew it around too and then lay it like that, face side up. Pretty side, or your face sides together. And you're gonna sew it all the way around, leaving a three to four inch opening on this as well. And then you're gonna turn it. And I'll be back. So don't forget, we're sewing from here all the way to here. And I'm gonna leave the four, three to four inch opening here. I'm gonna sew all the way around and leave a three to four inch opening on this. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now that I'm back, everything is sewn all around the top. I left a, about a three inch opening sewn all the way around. Now, something you can do to help yours turn better is go in here and make little slits all the way around. Don't cut your threads. I like to do this. It kind of lets the fabric relax a little bit. So just go in here and just make you a couple little slits all the way around. Like I said, don't cut your threads or you'll have to go back and sew it again. Make sure I didn't catch any threads there. I should have done it from this side anyway. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Didn't catch any threads. So, yeah, you want to make your little darts or cuts all the way around that round bottom. Um, you can even do it around your top, especially right in here where it curves. Just go in here and cut you a couple little darts or slits, whatever you want to call them. Right here on these corners. And then a couple through here. It just, like I said, it lets the fabric relax a little bit and it makes it uh, turn much prettier. Okay. Same way with this pee pad or the pad that's gonna go in. You can see here I sewed the, um, the towel on that one piece first and then I sewed them both together. So you're gonna go around here and make you some little little slits all the way around it. Just every three inches or so. Till you get back to your of course you don't need them right in there. Alright, now I left a three inch opening. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Of course, this is going to be your bottom side where you see you sewed your your towel in. You're going to roll your edges in here. You can, and you can hand stitch it. Not a problem, but I'm going to sit, sew mine shut on the sewing machine. And once I sew it shut, I'm going to go ahead and run a top stitch about a fourth of an inch from the edge all the way around and make it look like a nice top stitch there. So then we're going to turn this one. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Yep. Go and get this turned. Oops, push my insides down in. Now. Voila, there's your bed, <laughs> basically. All right, got that all done in there. You got your little piece open in here. You're gonna roll it down, just like so. I'm gonna clip it, and I'm gonna go sew it shut, and I'm gonna run a fourth of an inch top stitch all the way around here. That's just gonna hold everything together, but I'll go all the way around. 
the whole top with my top stitch. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now I've got my top stitch all the way around. Top stitch all the way around. And there's my bed. That's what it looks like all the way around. And now we're just going to stick this in. And just push it down. All the way. All the way around in there. And there we go. There's your bed, guys. And you can make uh, pillows um, to match if you want. Um, let's see if I can find a... This is just a scrap piece of material here. Um... But you could just, um, you can make your pillows look any way you want to. But just using this as an example, uh, you can have a, have a big, big long pillow if you wanted to. You could cut both of these out here and make that a big long pillow and make it like a couch type pillow. That might be pretty cute to do that. This is just my curves off of that other, the, um, the long, um, looks like my long piece, yep. And then you can use these scraps to stuff it with. Let's make that side look like that side. Anyway, um, you can go sew this, you know, leave a side opening, and then, um, you can have like a, a big pillow back here at the back. Um, or you can put two small pillows. You can make some little uh, long pillows like that. You know, and just stick them around in there. And then just stuff them. Just make sure you leave an opening to, so you can turn your pillows. And then you can use all your, um, your scraps of your fleece to, to stuff your pillows. And you have your... Nice, nice little bed. Nice bed for you babies. Alrighty, guys. I hope that helps. Um, and um, I hope I was slow enough, and I hope you guys could see everything I was doing. Um, if I didn't and you don't understand something, please message me. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, I'll be posting this on my YouTube page, so... Um, you guys can watch it, you know, through my YouTube and just, you know, post any kind of comments below. And, um, alrighty. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, you can subscribe if you like, and share. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.